Good morning from day two of our family vacation in Steenhatchee, Florida. We are here to do some scalloping. Yesterday we caught 275. We got the whole family. We trailered our boat all the way up here and we're excited for another day. You guys ready? We're ready. Yeah. Let's get them. So we have about a 30 minute cruise down this beautiful river. It's so crazy to see our boat in this dark colored water where we're normally we're home and like crystal clear blue water, but this is like coffee water. So it's just kind of cool to see our boat in a different environment because we've never really trailered our boat anywhere else besides just the keys. So yesterday we were around this general area and we did pretty good. So we kind of came to the same area to start our day. Everyone's hopping in the water. Let's go catch some scallops. See ya. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Marco. How many, Vic? How many? Well, I didn't get any. <laughs> wow. How many? I don't know. Way more than I got yesterday. Bro, Good job. Maybe 80? <laughs> 80? Maybe. At least 60. Where were what? you finding them all? Oh my god! On the scallopino. The scallopino. How many, Meg? 59. 59. Gabby? 13. Fisher? 32. 23. These little. 9. 21. 34, 35. Even better than Finally got into the 30s. Yeah, baby. Another one. All right, so we just moved a little bit. We cleaned up that area pretty well. So now round two to different spot. I already got two. I just asked my mom if she was finding them because she wasn't doing so good at the last spot. And she says she has 29. <laughs> wow.
34 or 35? I forget. I'm going to say 34 just to be safe. But another orange one. So excited. This one's really, really bright orange. Woo! How many you guys got? I don't know. I got a lot though. I got more than last time. I got 52. I, I, lo I lost count and I, I quit. But I got a lot. I was getting double after double, triple after triple. This is a good spot, huh? Yeah. go on the boat. I didn't want to quit because I didn't want to lose, but also I feel like we're going to have our limit. I think uh, we're going to have plenty and I, I stopped finding them. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> and it was starting to get murky. Yeah, it, it started to get murky, so I was having a hard time finding them and the current was picking up. Mm -hmm. So I I was like, yep, I'm done. Vic, can we see your bag? Your mom looks like she got a lot. Yeah, she did. Why? Did you not get a lot? No, I did. How many? I don't, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, you got more than us. I see oh, some orange ones. Orange huh? I see some orange ones. I yeah, I got one orange one, orange one at least. I, I got. Know. I think I got three or four orange ones. Isn't that awesome, Mick? This spot was so loaded. So loaded. Everywhere you look. Look at my mom behind you getting one. The, that thin grass, you if you stick your head in that grass, you yeah, see so many. <laughs> yeah, you killed us. You probably have like a hundred. That's a lot. Fisher has so many he's drowning trying yeah. to carry it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look at his bag. Oh, oh my, my god. god, Fisher! Did you hit him? Oh my oh god, god, we are oh definitely my gosh. going to. Oh my god. Oh gosh. my gosh! What I did? Did you stick your head in the gr tall grass that's dusty, scalp? No, I, I would. There would be like sand patches, and I would just pinball and look at the boat and be like, I want to go just in front of the boat and just behind the boat, and I just go like this, and I would see like a sand dollar, and if I felt like I saw the same one, I would try to swim forward more, and I just kept going back and forth. How many do you think? 120. Jed, how many do you think? 70. Nice. I thought I was going to have the most until I heard Fisher. No, I knew no one could keep up with me. I was I'll call an ass. How rude. You guys are disrespecting my bag. <laughs> Worked very hard for this. <laughs> and we match. When, when my bag was just dragging across the bottom. Yeah, bro. It was like a can. Mine is just as good as yours. This is my mom's haul. She did work. Good job, Mom! Okay. 12. Okay. You got a yellow one. 18. And then 17. Plus the yellow one. 120. Is this one big enough? This is one of the smallest ones I have. Throw them uh, back for good luck. Count mine? Throw them back for the good luck? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's toss let's all see these this yellow here. one. Look at Mr. Krabs. Look, this one's yellow. Picture. Um, 57, 61 done. Huh? 61. 
66. 69 dot one. There's one there. Is yours? There's one there. Hey, yeah. I got 70. Mine's no, mine's 70. Mine's You're right, Mom. Gonna, they're this? holding on to each other. They're Can you see that? Will you pick up those orange ones? They're yeah, holding on to each other. Here, give me her back. I've never seen that. This oh, what? Yeah, That's they're trippy. two orange <laughs> kissing. <laughs> That's what they would do. Okay, so there's three. Put them on top of this bucket. Okay, <laughs> kissing. <laughs> Friends. All right, so those three orange ones. So three, six, 65. 65, that's what I said. Good job. I'm going to toss this one back. Down. Throw them back for good luck. Next. Oh, my God. Oh, Victor still has. Holy <laughs> smokes. Yeah, they're going to be a pile. Jed, you said you had 70? Yeah. You had 70. Wow. Okay, you got one more to go. Jesus. I'm going to guess I have. So, what do we do with them? Uh, count them and throw them back. What? The what? Fuck? the heck was that? Oh, that had to be a manatee. Is there a scallop on his head? Yeah, he threw <laughs> so a scallop on him and freaked him out. So the limit is 10 gallons per vessel. So here's two five gallon buckets full. Here's Victor's that we're gonna all we're gonna let them all go because obviously we have too many, but we're gonna count them just so we have an exact number of what everyone did. And they're alive. 63, 66, 16, 65, 69, 70, 74, Vic. Four good below job, that. team. <laughs> Everyone did so good this time. Yeah. This was a good spot. I mean, you have 97. 97, Vic? 133. 133. Jed? 93. 93. Mom? 79. 79. Brooke? 86. 86. Gabby? 39. 39. And I had 142. Dude, that's 669. <laughs> yeah. I saw it. I oh, I was like, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm a genius. Place third place. We have 600 on the boat. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Good job, guys. That was so fun. So two bucketfuls is 600 scallops because we threw back basically like 70, and we had 669 scallops. Pretty awesome. Now it is time to head back and clean all these so we can eat some fresh for dinner. guys so we are here at this awesome cleaning station to clean our scallops everyone is lined up and we're gonna show you how to clean the scallops but when you catch the scallops and they aren't cold they're gonna close up like this and it's hard to clean them so we put a lot of ice on them so that they slowly open up so that you can get your knife in them get your knife in there and clean them easily so Gabby's digging around looking for one that's open like this so if they're like that, then you can get your knife in there. Thank you. Nice is getting these guys to open up. Show us how to clean one with this beautiful orange one. Let me finish this one real quick. So this is how I clean a scalp. I take the dark side, I have it facing up, put my knife in there, and all I'm doing is I'm separating the top part of the scalp from the shell. Once I do that, I put that side of the shell there. I take my knife and I remove his eyeballs, the outside guts, as you call it. Okay, and then I take my knife. And then I peel this back, I peel the guts away from the scalp, and then major key, I take the dull side of my knife, what? stick it in the guts, and then I peel away. Mm -hmm. And then that way, all the guts are removed, you're mm -hmm. left with nothing but a delicious scallop, all that juicy meat in the middle, and then you just work it out of the shell, and there you go, a delicious little scallop. Nice job. Thank you, Brittany. So, it took us an hour and 15 minutes with seven people to clean 600 scallops. And there is our finished product. What 
is going on guys? Welcome back to the kitchen of our Airbnb. It's time to cook up some of our scallops because we're not going to be cooking them all tonight. But we got this pan nice and hot with some butter. And we got a nice big onion going in. So last night we cooked our scallops with like a white wine butter sauce. Tonight we're cooking our scallops with a more of a red sauce. So if you guys haven't seen the video that we made yesterday that I posted um, a while back, make sure you guys check it out. I'll have it linked down below, but we did really well yesterday as well. So our onions are nice and brown, and now we're adding in our garlic. The next thing we're adding in is a whole beer. So our beer has reduced. So our next step is to add some tomatoes. Usually this is my dad's favorite part, but he's taking a nap. <laughs> So instead, I'm going to be the tomato squisher. But these are peeled tomatoes, so they're whole, so you gotta squish them. So we actually brought this from home. It's a marinara sauce by a local like Italian deli by our house. If you guys have seen my videos of crab, we make like our seafood crab boil, um, when we used to do it all the time with my grandma and stuff like that, this is what we always use, so. Here it is. Safe to say, not a good night to wear white. Now we're adding fresh parsley. All right, so sauce is ready to go and the scallops are going in. Look at just the steam coming off the pastas. I could just serve that. Oh, look at that. Wow. Mm. We've come a long way, you know, we used to go offshore and tow a kayak behind us. Now we're trailering the boat down from home, so it's a lot has happened in the last six years, so it's fun to be able to come out after this much time and still be able to clean up and get our limit. Uh, so again, it's my favorite thing to do, and that meal was an incredible. I'm excited to see how you're going to prepare, you know, scallops the next way, so loved it, loved everything about this, can't wait to come back. So we're all a little sleepy after two days of scalloping, but what I was going to say is I haven't done this with Brooke and her family in six years, but I'm very happy they keep inviting me back and I'm happy to be a part of this family and you know, you guys see Brooke and her mom and dad and her brothers, but if you guys wonder what they're like in real life, and Gabby of course, they're all genuine people and I'm, I'm just happy to be here, that's all I got to say. Uh, the very first time we came to Steenhatchee, we stayed in the landings. And the kids were all small, and it's nice to be back here with them all grown up. Um, it was so fun. Um, it was neat to have a newcomer and watch her learn how to do it. <laughs> uh, the meals were delicious, better than we used to make them, I think. Uh, which is neat is the not a lot has changed here. There's more houses, but it's still slow paced and beautiful and a lot of gorgeous trees to look at. It's, it's awesome here. We had a, a white sauce yesterday that was delicious, a red sauce today that was delicious. I don't know if I liked one better than the other. They were both fantastic. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about this crew. We, we do, we're, we're a little funny in one respect. Um, I don't know if other families do this, but everybody sitting at this table knows 
how many scallops they caught yesterday. And everybody at this table knows how many scallops we caught today. We're, we're, we're getting that water and we're so competitive. And we rush back to the boat with our bag and we, we all count them to see who got first place, who got second place. It's just, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun for us. We're, we're very competitive that way. And it doesn't matter if we win or lose or get second or third, but we're always trying our hardest. And, and I, I like that about this, this group. I, I really like how hard they all put their heart into it. And um, I'm, I'm gonna let you know. I got third place today. I'm, I'm pretty darn <laughs> proud of it. I got third place. I caught 97 scallops today. It was a lot of fun. Tell us all how you got first place today. I guess I got the most scallops today. And I think the reason that is, is my dad came out on the boat after the first spot and was bragging so hard about how many scallops he got. And he must have went a half a mile away from the boat to find them all. <laughs> And we're all like, why'd you do that? And he can't stop making fun of all of us. So I went out there. I didn't see a single fish or a shell. I was just tunnel vision on the scallops. And I caught like 120 in that second dive. And I came back and I threw it in the boat. And I was like, check those out. Yeah, we were definitely competitive. And that's, that's super fun, I think, for a lot of us. I, I think some people do bad with that because they're they probably like get upset if they lose but it's all fun in games like it really is because you all get to come back and eat it you don't care who caught them when it's on the table cooked but yeah like he said scalloping is for everyone it's something you should all try if you like brooke and victor's videos like there's no way you wouldn't enjoy scalloping yourself honestly like this whole experience has been so amazing um i'm gonna do kind of like a repeat of yesterday but um, again, today was just way easier than yesterday. I actually knew what I was looking for. Um, Victor had some helpful tips with the type of grass I should be looking in. And everything was great. I had fun. I got 39? I think so. 39 today <laughs> compared to yesterday, I got 18. Which is really Which good. Which is good. I'm happy with that. Compared to some of the people on our crew, that wasn't the best. But a lot of these boats had a lot of people mm -hmm. out there, and they weren't getting 39 with their whole crew putting it all together. A lot of boats were getting like 20 with five people in the water. So even though 39 might pale in comparison to some of us, it really is, especially for a newcomer, still a good amount of scallops. Yes, I'm very proud. Good job. <laughs> well, the boat is on the trailer and it is time to head back to Pompano Beach. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next adventure.